Hello, Jonathan Landeros with a video on adding parameters to text in an Autodesk Inventor drawing. Many times when you're creating a drawing, it becomes necessary to add values such as thickness or in the example I'll show here, bend radius to a text note, but the parameters could be many. Either way, it's not hard to type that information in. It's just text after all. But what happens if it changes days or even weeks later? You have to remember to go back and change it, and that can be something that's easy to overlook, especially when a lot of changes are coming through. But there is a way to automate it, and I'm going to share that with you right now. You start by editing your text, just like you always do. Right click, edit text. But look at the parameters section. Here, you can choose a model to get the parameter from whether you want a model or a user parameter, and then which parameter you want to get. You can choose any parameter you want, but like I said, in this case, I'm using bend radius, a model parameter, for this example. In addition, we want to set the precision of this decimal to 2 for this particular dimension. All that's left to do is click the Add Parameter button to insert the field. Now the parameter is added, and if the value changes in the model, it will automatically change on the drawing. That takes care of having to remember to do it yourself. It's done. Now, the parameter's added. But let's go one step further and tune the format so it's the best it can be for what it's needed for. I'm going to right click on the text again, but this time I'll choose Edit Unit Attributes. A dialog box appears that lets you change the format of the units after they've been placed. In this case, we're going to remove the leading zero and also add the units, inches in this case, to the parameter so it reads more clearly. But now it's complete. It's easy to read, it makes sense, and we know it's going to update should the value in the model ever change. And it saves you the time of having to go back and recheck a bunch of different dumb text values. So take a look at this tool. Automate those repetitive manual tasks and use that time to design. It's what you want to do anyway, isn't it? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.